the final thing I'll just say in terms of um, you know just just thinking about you know the convalescent plasma. I mean, we really need to look to see. Uh, what was going on with some of these bureaucrats with the response in terms of COVID, with how they treated things like hydroxychloroquine? I mean, it's not normal. I had doctors here saying they thought it was helpful, so we got it. Some disagreed, but it was almost like this concerted effort to like not not allow that to be discussed. And now you've seen different research where people have shown that you know that that it may well have been beneficial. Why was there such um, a a movement? to squelch any inquiry about this leaking from the lab in Wuhan, which last year they, they called you a conspiracy theorist if you said that it leaked. Now we look at it, and, and that's the overwhelming evidence um, is that it came from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. So there's been a lot of issues, um, I think, along the way uh, that were not addressed well uh, by a lot of these bureaucracies. And the question is, is you know, we need to do better next time but we got to recognize some of the problems that occurred. And if we don't, people are not going to have confidence um, in, in listening to a lot of the folks. I mean, those Fauci emails, you know, if you read some of this stuff and how different that was and what he was saying in public, um, you know, really is, uh, I think, very, very problematic. And it's not, you know, I know we get into these political stuff with some of this stuff in the here and now, and, and that we should, that's fine. But I mean, thinking long term, that is not the way we want to be doing it. We should not be sending money to China to do this gain-of-function research. I mean, this is just something that is creating super viruses in, in some lab that's very much involved with the Chinese military and intelligence. Why would you be doing that? I mean, it makes no sense, and obviously the results have been, have been absolutely terrible. Uh, but all this stuff along the way, I think there were a lot of things uh, where you kind of had the official bureaucracy and, and, and WHO and some of these other groups, you know, that, that they went all in on some of these theories, um, and it turns out, uh, you know, they really weren't accurate with what they were trying to do. And so I think there needs to be a full investigation. Uh, we need to identify the origins of this virus, but then we also have to uh, have an evaluation uh, of some of the the response from the from, from the levels of the bureaucracy, uh, because I think even today, you know, we see we see issues, you know, with CDC. Some of the studies they're putting out, people literally will debunk it, like like an hour later after just reading it, and that's not something that inspires very much confidence for the American people. Thank you, everybody. God bless.